Hello, this is Christy. Today I'm going to show you a nice tool that you can find in Photoshop. It's a little hidden or not so obvious that allows you to create random fills with a custom object that you decide what you, you want to use and then it creates a pattern or a fill with your uh, selected objects. So because autumn is coming, I decided to use these leaves I found on Unsplash and I want to use these leaves to create a custom fill with an autumn, sort of a, an autumn floor full of leaves. So the way to do this is I'm going to import this image into Photoshop. And the first step to, to do is to separate these objects into individual, um, individual files. So the way to do this very easily is by using the object select tool in Photoshop. This is using AI and it selects a subject automatically so it's on the toolbar here you click on it and it's, it's called object selection tool or plus w and then all you have to do is just select around the object don't leave any part of it out so let me just zoom in a bit here so if i want to select this leaf here the first one on the row and using this um this object selection tool just like this it's going to select the object itself Control X just because I want to see what happens if I cut off the right object. Control New to create a new file with the contents of the clipboard. Click Create and Control V to paste. So this is my leaf. And in order to achieve this effect I want to do, we need to remove the background. So click on the background layer and delete the layer. So now you can see that everything is transparent around my leaf. Let's go back now and get the new leaf. Just select like this all around it. In a second, it selects everything. Control X, Control New, Create, Control V, and then select the background layer and delete it. So you repeat the same process for all of the leaves. I'm going to leave this one out because it's quite complex and I believe the object selection tool is not going to do a very good job about it. If I cut this out, you're going to see that it left the stem in here. So I'm not going to use this one because I don't want to bother and spend a lot of time on this. So I'm going to move on to the next leaf. These are very well defined because the background is quite uh, light colored and the contrast is good. So the object selection tool has no problem selecting it. And as you can see, it makes a perfect selection every time, even leaving the shadow away. So we don't leave the shadow. We don't need the shadow for this effect right now. So I'm going to go continue doing all these leaves here. Uh, normally for this effect that we want to do, we don't need so many. But uh, if you want to have some variety, because not all leaves are the same, you want to have more leaves to choose from. So I'm going to just cut these final ones and put them into separate files, delete the backgrounds. And I believe I may be done. Just let's try this last one here. OK. All right. So I have the leaves here. And before I do my uh, my effect, I want to make them sort of autumn looking. So you can see that a lot of these leaves are actually green. And in the autumn, they kind of get a bit rusty. So what you can do is before you, you proceed to the next step is you can add an adjustment layer on top of each leaf. So like this, you can see layer one is my leaf here with transparency. And on the adjustments panel, if you don't see the adjustment panel, go to window and enable it here, window adjustments. And you want to use a hue and saturation uh, adjustment layer. So you click on that, it puts it on top of your picture and then just drag the hue towards the left where, you know, and watch the leaf kind of going kind of rusty and brownish or yellow orange kind of thing. So when you're happy with the hue um, you've done, you can uh, control shift E to merge these two layers into a single layer. So control shift E merges the visible layers into a single one, still maintaining the transparency. So you want to do this for all of the leaves that are not very rusty. Add the adjustment layer, pull the hue down. You can try playing with the lightness if you want. You can try, uh, you know, put the saturation up if you like. And, uh, you know, control shift E at the end and do the same for all of them to make them all look sort of uh, autumn-y uh, like that. So you, you can, some of them, you can do them even red like this, you know, just uh, don't make them all the same because then they are kind of boring. You want variety here. So uh, like this, okay, this is the original file. I'm going to close this down 
and okay this one is left here just to adjust it a bit like that okay and finally let's do this one like this okay so now these are my leaves they are separated into different files different uh, documents and we need to now proceed to the next step where we're actually defining the pattern to fill. So um, it's taken longer than uh, I wanted because I've done so many leaves, but obviously you don't have to use so many leaves. You can just use one if you want. And uh, let's proceed to the next step. In order to have all these leaves available for our uh, random pattern fill, we want to select each one of them. So I'm going to take the selection tool and just drag around my object like this. And um, I actually don't want to use this object tool, just a normal selection tool. So just drag around like this. And you want to go to the edit menu and create define pattern. Select define pattern from here. So we're going to see a preview of the uh, object I'm, I'm creating a pattern for. So I'm just going to give it a, a simple name leaf zero one. OK, because we're going to we're going to do uh, different leaves. So press OK. This has created a pattern. If you want to keep your file, you can save it or you can just close it from here. Don't save it. And so on with the next one. Select again around your entire leaf. Edit define pattern leaf zero two and I'm gonna just go ahead and do it for all of them and speed up my video okay so now that I created patterns with all of my leaves now it is time to apply them and use them in my uh, final document. So I'm going to create a new document. So go File, New, and I'm going to use a square. I'm just going to make it a square size, maybe something HD like uh, 1920 by 1920. Okay, like that, just a square. Uh, custom, just make it white background and create. So this is my document here. So now to apply the effect. In order to create this effect, we will create a new layer. So in my document here, it is blank. It's this white background. And I want to apply this fill to a new background, uh, a new uh, layer. So I'm going to go down here and create a new layer. And let's call it, you know, just leave it layer one. Um, no, no problem. Make sure this layer is selected and then go to edit and fill. When you go to the edit and fill, make sure you select here, not the background or foreground color, but go to pattern. This is going to access the custom pattern menu. And here are your leaves. If you don't see them, these are the folders with some of the patterns that come with Photoshop and your patterns with the leaves that we just created here, they are at the bottom. So I'm just going to select the first one. And before you click OK, make sure you tick this box script. And from here, make sure random fill is selected. There are more uh, scripts here that give you different types of fills. But what we want is a random scatter of leaves. Cl select random fill and click OK. This is actually not going to do the fill yet. It's going to produce this dialog, which shows us kind of a random scatter of leaves. And uh, you can, of course, save presets here, but um, you can tweak these parameters here to have more leaves. So if you do density higher, it's going to add more leaves. And if you do it lower, it's going to do less leaves. Plus, you have the minimum scale factor and maximum scale factor, which will dictate if there will be any vari variation in the size of the leaves. Finally, a very nice one is rotate pattern so that, you know, not all leaves point in the same direction. Of course, we want them to rotate randomly. And you can always have a slight color randomness to make the leaves different kind of hues, uh, similar to what we did when we added that uh, hue on top of them. But this time you can actually make it vary so much more. And of course, some of them become green. So you, you don't want to do this too high because your um, you know, all of your leaves become sort of a rainbow color. So you want to keep this low. 
but you want to keep it uh, sufficiently high to, to observe a little variety in your leaves color. So uh, I'm just going to give it around, you know, 13, maybe 15 kind of variation for variation here. And also you can do a brightness randomness, which makes some of the leaves darker, some lighter. So you want to play with this a little bit, just experiment, you know, and when you're happy with the sort of scatter. Um, now, you, you need to notice that actually what you see here is not a real preview of what's going to happen on your document, depending on the document resolution and the size of the leaves that you put into your pattern library, they may actually be larger. So I'm seeing here maybe 100 leaves or so. If I click OK, let's see what happens. You see, I only see a few because it just filled in um, a larger area probably, or I can just see. So if you want to see more leaves here, uh, just undo and go edit, fill, and then probably, you know, just keep the same uh, parameters here. And when you press OK, you can actually do a different scale factor and density. So you can actually do more leaves and maybe make them smaller. So I'm going to make it 0.22 and a uh, maximum scale of 0 0.32. So not a big vari variation there in the size. And let's see what happens. So click density. OK, here we go. Click OK. We, we have some leaves. Now, the coolness of this effect is that you can actually do another layer. Let's do another layer now and do again edit and fill. And this time I'm going to select the other leaf. OK, the next leaf goes OK, and you can see it's again random fill. Uh, maybe the color variation is too high, but I'm just going to leave it here. I'm not going to change these and click OK. So you see on a new layer, I filled the other leaves. Do another layer now and edit, fill and so on. So I can actually loop through my leaves like this and slowly my my document is going to fill with leaves. Now, depending on how many uh, and what size I've chosen for them, it, it may be actually uh, necessary to repeat some of them or maybe change the density. Um, but, you know, I want to, sorry, I, I should have done this on a different layer. So new layer again, edit and fill, press OK. Okay, here, so uh, new layer. So just repeat this effect and I'm going to show you a little tip uh, to make this more realistic um, at the end like that. This might be too small. So let me just undo this. Uh, fill. Okay, make it uh, larger or maybe more dense, more of them. Okay and another layer here and we will soon go through all of the leaves I have used. Okay. And okay. So I have some leaves here. I haven't covered the entire surface. So if I want to go back to another layer at uh, all the first one and maybe try and fill again, maybe with the first leaf, I'm going to just click here and try and change the density to make more leaves like that. I'm going to, you know, I can keep adding leaves to it. Now, to make this more realistic, let me show you a cool, uh, a cool trick here. Um, you see, they're all randomly here, but it, the document still looks a bit flat. So what I would like to do is I want to add a bit of shadow between the layers. So that's my, one of the main reasons why I created so many layers, because I can go to the uh, let's try the top layer first. Let's zoom in a little bit. And let's see which layer is this. This is the one with the big leaves at the top. And I'm going to click on effects down below. Just select the layer, go to effects and add a drop shadow. And, you know, don't make it too crisp. Uh, you want to you want to make it uh, not too distant from the object. So don't don't uh, add too much distance here because supposedly these leaves are lying on top of each other. So they're they're actually uh, not you know, too distant from each other. So and make the size a bit larger. So just uh, your shadow has a bit of a diffusion to it. 
and if you want the spread make it darker that's fine and the direction is going to be sort of a lower right kind of thing so okay we have a shadow here press ok and now to replicate this effect just right click on this layer and select copy layer style and then select all of the other layers hold down the shift key and right click and say paste layer style okay so now all of my layers have this shadow effect applied to them so now you see there's a bit of depth here in my um a bit of depth in my document and the beauty of this is if i don't want these uh, leaves to be at the top i can just drag the layer down and move them behind other leaves i can control t to transform and rotate if i want um you know you can do a lot of stuff here and if I'm not happy because the uh, background is kind of white, I'm going to create another layer here, put it at the top, just above the background, and go here to fill again, and choose which leaves I want to have on the very bottom, like this one, this very large one, and click OK. And this time, I want to do a lot of density, just, just to make sure the entire, most of the area is covered. Let's add a little more scale there, and let's see what happens. Click OK. Okay, probably should have done more, even more. So let's go back, fill, okay. Um, much more density there. Okay. So that added most of the other layers. I can do another one here and choose another um, another leaf there. Maybe, maybe choose this one and then again do the density like that. So I pretty much covered everything. So. There you go, this is a very nice and cool effect. It took a bit of time to explain and prepare your objects, but once you have them all prepared, they're very nice and easy to apply to your document. And you know, you have flexibility there to turn them on and off. If you do it on separate layers like this, you can tweak the effect and yeah, you can do a lot of stuff. Add, add layer, blending modes, add vignettes, whatever you wanna do. So there you go, you've, you've generated a random pattern with the script that is not so obvious in Photoshop, uh, define your pattern and there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you enjoyed my tutorials, please subscribe to my channel and see you next time.